Welcome to the short video tutorial on the Git integration with CodeBeamer. Today we will learn what Git is, how to create a repository within CodeBeamer, how to import a dump or bundle file, how to clone a repository and how to do changes and commit them back into your repository. You might also be interested in our wiki section on working with Git submodules and on our integrator workflow video, which you can find on YouTube. First of all, what is Git? Git is a distributed version control system. This means that to work with Git, you don't necessarily have to have a fast network connection. As you can clone your repository to your local machine, you are widely independent from any online connection. Just do your changes locally, and when you're back online, you can commit them to the central repository. Git was developed by Linus Torvalds as an open source project. Git has high performance for branching and merging and is widely used for complex projects. I am the product manager. I have a new task and I want to assign it to my developer so he can start working. I'm going to jump into the task tracker within my trackers repository and create a new task and assign it to my developer. The task is called some coding. And I tell my developer please do some coding. Assign it to my developer. Save it. And start the task. Alright, the task is running. I now log out and log myself back in as a developer to see if there are some new work items that need to be completed. Go on to my issues and take a look. Ah! There's a new task in progress. Alright. I just check out what's in there. It says please do some coding. Alright, then I go ahead and do some coding. In CodeBeamer, you have the source code management repositories tab. Within this tab, you can create new repositories. I like Git, so I want to set up a new Git repository. I have already done some work and saved it in my dump file. So I'll create a new repository within CodeBeamer and import my dump file, which I have created earlier. This enables me to just continue working where I have left off and all the changes, files, commits and branches and tags are automatically imported into CodeBeamer. My new repository is being created the size will be about 22 megabytes and I can start working right away. CodePimo has set up my new repository and you can see that, that all the old changes are already imported. You can see all the files that are contained within the repository. We can see if there are pull requests pending and that some branches and tags have already been set up. CodePeamer allows to give permissions on role-based level for each and every repository within a project. For example, we have some roles set up over here. There's a test engineer and a tester. I think they shouldn't be able to update any chain sets and create branches, so I take the permissions away from them and save. To start working, I will have to clone my repository first. Just copy the URL over here, go into my terminal, tell Git to clone it, and paste the URL. Git will clone the repository from CodeBeamer onto my hard drive, and I can jump into the directory and start working right away. 
this is the content of my repository. I'll just change the readme file for an instance. Let's insert a new line of code here. The test that has been created for me has got an ID. I'll just look that up again. We can see that the task has got ID 1921. When I do a commit, I can automatically leave a comment that will be assigned to this, to this task. Okay, I have committed my task. Check the status. Alright, it tells me that my branch is ahead of by one commit. So I push my change into code BMO. This adds the new file and my changes and my comment to the repository and to the task that's assigned to me. Let's have a look what happened. Within my task, I have a tab that tells me if there are any source code commits associated. And it tells me that the coding is done and I can actually have a look at the diff and see what line of codes have been changed. And I can also go into my repository and check what changes have been done there. Go to changes and you see that the coding has been done, what file has been modified, by whom and there is a task associated to this one. To complete my work, I will go into my task and mark it as completed. This concludes the tutorial video on working with Git. Please check out our wiki page on working with submodules and the integrator workflow video on YouTube. Thank you. Goodbye.